What started as a routine traffic stop on New Year's Eve Who's in there with you? No, nobody. Ended in a shocking discovery. <laughs> DPS body cam video shows the moment troopers found over 20 migrants stowed away in this small, confined space. Espacio, espacio. A small, thin box. I mean, it's not very much room. It's like if you're crawling underneath the bed, closed in, dark, where there's no ventilation for them. Right. Human smuggling is on the rise well, in South Texas. Okay. Yes. DPS Sergeant Juan Maldonado said this stop in LaSalle County is not out of the ordinary. Uh, they usually get smuggled to a large city, which would be going towards either San Antonio, Houston, Dallas, the big metro cities. Troopers deployed along the border as part of Operation Lone Star are seeing an uptick in migrants smuggled through ranches, yeah. in tractor trailers, <laughs> and trains. Maldonado says the criminal element is also on the rise. DPS said this driver, a Mexican Mafia gang member, had a stolen gun on him. Those plates don't go on that trailer. That's an arrestable offense. And was driving a stolen truck. But we're also seeing an increase in human smuggling, narcotics, weapons, and leading to children being smuggled as well. And you got the kid up? The migrants who make this journey north are not ignorant of the dangers. They know how dangerous it is. Teresa Cardinal Brown is the director of immigration and cross border policy at a bipartisan think tank in D.C. Their mission to find solutions to the country's most challenging issues, like the surge in illegal immigration. For many of these people, they truly believe that if they stay where they are, they will be killed. Their children will be killed. Their family will be killed. They will die. They have no reason to stay where they are. That's the kind of desperation that drives them north. Brown said the problem is with the current immigration policy. Most migrants won't qualify for asylum, she says. So we have made it so difficult for people to try to come legally. They're going to keep coming and they will keep trying and they will keep trying to find ways to come in until they succeed because that's the desperation they have. With the Ken's Five Border Team, I'm Vanessa Croy.